First, there were murder hornets, then cicadas, and now the internet is buzzing about the Lone Star Tick. Lots of people are talking about how getting bit by one of these ticks can cause you to develop a red meat allergy. That's right, no more hamburgers or steak. So is that true? Evan Kozlov verifies for us. Lone Star Ticks, they're in our area, and according to social media, if they bite you, you can develop a red meat allergy. But is that true? Let's verify. Spring is a pretty active time. John Lill is a professor of biology at the George Washington University. You said that you've been bit by thousands yes. of ticks in your life, yes. and you still like what you do? Yes. <laughs> and when he was about 25, he was bit by a bunch of Lone Star Ticks. Later, at a barbecue... And I just developed hives all over my body, got violently ill, and was really sick from that hamburger. Yeah, our wildlife expert is also a patient. He's our first source, joining Michael Raup from the University of Maryland and Scott Cummins from the University of North Carolina. Our experts all say that not everyone who gets bit will develop this allergy. I've been bitten uh, several times by this tick. I don't have alpha-gal. Alpha-gal is a sugar molecule. It's present in the tick's saliva and other meat products. And those that get bit may become allergic to alpha-gal and get a flare-up whenever it's consumed. It's more than just a food allergy. You can't have certain medications. Many people can't have gelatin, so they can't have capsules or marshmallows. Dr. Cummins says many even become allergic to dairy because of this. And in terms of scope, one paper, which was co-authored by Dr. Cummins, estimates that there were 34,000 people with this allergy between 2010 and 2018. I probably have uh, close to 3,500 patients or have seen close to 3,500 patients with alpha-gal allergy. So we can verify that yes, if a Lone Star tick bites you, you could become allergic to red meat, but that's not gonna happen to everyone. With your Verify, I'm Evan Kozlov. All right, want us to verify something you read or heard? Just email us at verify at 13newsnow.com. We'll work to get you answers.